what is going on guys so today i'm going to be doing the 100 subscriber special that i've been promising to you guys for over a month so this is taking a really long time to come out and i do apologize for that uh the reason it took so long is because this is my very first long commentary uh so i kind of had some trouble with it but i am going to try to make more of these longer commentaries so i can get better at them uh, but anyways guys, I guess I'll talk a little bit about the gameplay before I get into this video So I'm playing on the map standoff on black ops 2 and it is free-for-all um, I use a gun a little bit, but at the end I mostly knife most of my kills are from knives or score streaks uh, But anyways guys this video like I said is going to be the hundred subscriber video um, I'm going to pretty much just say thank you to some people Thank you to all my subscribers and then I'll answer some of the questions that people left but Anyways guys, I want to get into this video now, so like I said, thank you guys for 100 subscribers. I obviously couldn't have got to this point without y'all. Uh, thank you for anybody that's left comments and left a like and just supported me. Like I said, thank you guys. You're the reason that I even make videos. If you know no one watched my videos, I wouldn't make them. There would be no point to it. I mean, I do like making videos, but if no one is watching them, what's the point of doing it? So, thank you guys for leaving all the positive comments and the support. But, like I said before, there are some people that have done more than others, and they just deserve a special thank you. Um, and I'm sorry if I don't get everybody's name that, you know, liked all my videos or liked almost all of them. Uh, there's really no way to tell who's liked all of them, pretty much. But, there are a couple people that I do know that liked a lot of my videos and just left a lot of support. So the first person that I want to give a big thank you to is Joshua the Great 14. Now Joshua the Great 14 is the one that actually helped me start my YouTube channel. He's the one that, you know, even gave me the idea to start one. And he's also the one that's helped me out with a lot of videos. So he definitely deserves a big thank you because I couldn't have made a lot of the stuff that I've made without him. Uh, so the next person that I want to give a shout out to is Omar Elkahal. Um, sorry if I said that wrong, Omar. Um, I don't even know if you watch my videos anymore, but Omar has been here since pretty much the beginning. He's gave me a lot of positive comments. I think he's probably started leaving comments around 10 or 20 subscribers. And like I said, he's just left a lot of positive support on my videos. So, you know, he helped me make a lot of my videos, you know, just made me want to make more videos. Uh, so the next person that I want to give a shout out to is The Reaps. Now, Reeps is another person, he's pretty new to my channel, but he has given me a lot of support. He said a lot of nice things on my videos. He's also said a lot of nice things to me on the PlayStation. He sent me messages. So, Reeps, thank you, man. You've really helped me out with this channel and just, you know, you've been another person that's just made me want to make more videos and make better quality videos. Now, the last person that I want to give a shout out to, and like I said before, I'm sorry if I couldn't give everybody a shout out that you know, has left me a lot of support and just liked my videos, but I'm trying to do it for as many people as I could think of that has done this for me. But anyways, like I said, uh, the last person that I want to give a shout out to is Debuggin. Now, Debuggin, once again, I think he's probably like Omar that he's been around for quite a long time. Um, but he's pretty much liked every single video that I've made. He's commented on a lot of my videos and you know, he's actually became a pretty good friend on PlayStation. Now, I haven't played with him for a long time, but like I said, we used to play all the time, and I'm sure we'll play some more. Um, he's also talking about starting a YouTube channel, so hopefully we can make some dual commentaries if he does. Um, but anyways, thanks a lot, Debuggin, Dereeps, Omar, and Joshua the Great 14 Y'all have all helped me make videos and just made me want to make better quality videos on this channel. So now guys, I want to go into the subscriber questions, but before I do that, because um, I'm going to post up like who asked the question on the screen, but I actually have a question that a lot of people have asked me, and I don't really have someone's name to post up, so I'm just going to do that first. So the question that a lot of people have asked is, what do I use to record with, like what's my equipment? So obviously I do it on a PlayStation 3, I have a Samsung TV, that doesn't really matter. Um, I use a Roxio Game Capture HD Pro, I think, to record my videos. I have a Samsung laptop, which, once again, that doesn't really matter, because 
you can record with pretty much any computer. Now, with the Roxio, I really want to recommend it. If you're going to buy something, you know, buy an Elgato or um, Avermedia. Those two, I've heard, are really good. But the Roxio, there's just too many problems with the software crashing and different things. And, you know, it's not just my laptop. I've looked it up and other people have this problem. And I've even tried to, you know, uninstall and then reinstall the software and it just keeps crashing so there's a lot of problems with that plus the quality isn't the greatest with that like i would like to get elgato eventually or an avermedia but i'll probably end up with the elgato um but if you're on a budget then you probably should get the roxio because you can get one for pretty cheap on ebay uh, you can get them for about 50 or $60. Uh, mine was $60, I think. But moving on, uh, to record my voice, I use a Snowball mic with a pop filter. Now, the Snowball mic I got off eBay for like $40, so that was a really good deal. It was refurbished. So if you're going to make a YouTube channel, just try to look on eBay for your stuff. Now, for the pop filter, if you wanted one of those, then I would say look on Amazon because that was the cheapest place that I could find one. Um, now to edit my videos, I use Adobe Premiere Pro on the Mac, and to edit my voice, I use Adobe Audition Pro on the Mac. So those are the two programs I use for that, and to make my thumbnails, which I've just recently started doing, I use Adobe Photoshop. Uh, so those are all really good programs if you can get your hands on those. I really like using them. I think they're better on the Mac than the PC. I've tried to use it on the PC and I just, I don't really like the setup as much on there, but I will use it occasionally, but I try to use the Mac as much as I can. Um, but anyways, let's get into subscriber questions. So the first question that I got, and I'm sorry if I pronounce any more, excuse me, I'm sorry if I pronounce anyone's names wrong, um, but the first person that asked me a question is Cristobal Almanza, and they asked who or what inspired you to make YouTube videos. Now, the person that inspired me to make YouTube videos, like I said before, was Joshua the Great 14. Uh, we were actually, like, I remember the day that he said something about it. We were playing GTA 5, and he just started talking about people that are making videos, and he sent me a couple videos of some uh, trolling videos and some glitch videos, because before then, I really didn't realize that there was YouTubers making videos of gameplay. I mean, I heard of PewDiePie before, but I watched one of his videos, and I just really wasn't entertained by it. I did not like PewDiePie at all, and I still really don't like PewDiePie. No offense to anybody that, you know, likes PewDiePie, but I guess that just isn't my thing. Uh, but anyways, like I said, Joshua the Great 14 is the one that inspired me to make YouTube videos. So once again, thanks a lot, Joshua the Great 14, for that. Uh, so the next person that asked a question is Omar Elkahout, and he asked me, "Who do you often watch on YouTube?" Now there are a lot of people that I watch on YouTube for like glitches and stuff, but I really don't watch them besides for you know glitches. Now people that I do watch for like entertainment. And I still don't watch these people too much. I really don't watch gaming videos that often. Well, I do, but I just watch a lot of different people. I don't watch the same people. But anyways, like I said, the people that I watch the most are Jacksepticeye, Model Pranksters, which isn't a gaming channel. Uh, and Jacksepticeye, I've only watched his comment videos because those are pretty funny. Uh, Model Pranksters, like I said, and then Mr. Technical Difficult. Now, he is pretty funny. He does the little kid's voice and all, and, you know, I really like watching his videos. He's a pretty funny person. Okay, so the next question that I get asked is Uncle Sam Current. He asks, do I like editing videos, and what is your favorite part of editing? As for me, I love editing and all the effects that can go into the videos. P.S. Speaking of editing, I thought that it was kind of funny at the end how abrupt the outro was. Now yeah, the video that he's talking about, I really did mess up on that outro pretty bad. But do I like editing? Yes, I really do like to edit videos. And, you know, I just like the finished product. I like to see what I can do with this raw video file and just make it look like something pretty awesome. Now, for the videos that I've been posting up here, I haven't really done too much editing. Uh, the editing don't take too long on them, but I do like to edit videos. Okay, so the last question that I got is by Damian Lee Ruckman. He asked, will you ever play GTA 5 with your subs and fans or Black Ops 2? Now, the answer to that is yes. I will play GTA 5 and Black Ops 2 with my subscribers. I try to play with them as much as possible. I know lately I haven't really been playing with them, just because I've been doing a lot of league playing on Black Ops 2 with the team that I have made, I guess, or... 
I haven't really made it, another person made it, but the team that I'm on. Um, but anyways, if you want to play with me, then you can play with me. Um, I don't... Okay, good. My computer just turned off, so I was kind of scared that I just lost everything. But yeah, if you want to play with me, just add me on White Boy Crib on PSN. I don't have an Xbox, so sorry about that. I am going to be trying to get an Xbox once I can find a summer job. I would like, you know, to be able to play with people on Xbox too and make some videos for Xbox games. But anyways, like I said, once again, if you want to add me, just add me on White Boy Crib. And if you want to know how to spell it, it's spelled the same as on YouTube, but without space. And I'll also put it in the comment section below. But anyways, guys, thanks for 100 subscribers again. And like I said, I'm sorry if I didn't pronounce your names right. And I'm also sorry if I didn't give you a shout out when you deserved one. But I hope you all like this video. And if you did, remember to leave a like. And if you're new to this channel, remember to subscribe. Oh yeah, and with subscribing, I'm sorry. Uh, one last thing. With subscribing, once I get up to 200 subscribers, there is going to be a giveaway. Now, this giveaway is not going to take place on YouTube, so hopefully I don't get banned for saying this. Um, like I said, it's not going to happen on YouTube, so there's no reason that I could get banned for this. Um, that is going to take place on my Facebook page, so if you want to be part of that, then just go like my Facebook page or whatever. But I'll talk about that more once I get up to 200 subscribers. Uh, but anyways, like I said before, I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, remember to leave a like. If you're new to this channel, remember to subscribe. And I will see you all in the next video.